Russell Brand was branded an uber douche extraordinaire by Peaches Geldof's sister during a drug and alcohol addiction charity fundraiser in 2015. The comedian, 48, who has been accused of rape, sexual assaults and emotional abuse, which he strongly denies, in Channel 4's dispatches, which stemmed from a joint investigation with The Times and Sunday Times, made a speech in front of Fifi Geldof, whose sister, Peaches, died from a drug overdose when she was 25 in 2014. Addressing the audience at the time Brand said, From what I've experienced, a lot of people here tonight are on drugs right now. It was like an avalanche on the back of my toilet. Fifi, 32, who keeps a low profile despite being Sir Bob Geldof's daughter, reportedly said she was less of a Russell Brand fan than ever, following the comedian's offensive and highly inappropriate speech. Brand has maintained sobriety since 2002 and has been a vocal drugs campaigner, giving evidence about his experience as an addict to a Home Affairs Select Committee in 2012. He has repeatedly called on the government to re-examine drugs policies and praised his family and fans in an Instagram video last year as he celebrated two decades of being clean and sober, following his addiction to substances including heroin and alcohol. Addressing his millions of followers, he said, I'm 20 years clean and sober today. Thank you to all the people who have helped me to remain clean. It's never done on your own. It is impossible for a person like me to not drink and use drugs unless I have sufficient and ongoing support from people who understand what it is like to feel that drugs or alcohol or certain behaviors are necessary in order to feel okay. The actor went on to give fans advice if they know someone who is a drug addict and an alcoholic and seems hopeless and desperate. I know loads of you do, he added. Loads of you are worried about someone you love. I know loads of you are addicts yourselves and you feel like, oh god, it's just hopeless. Well, that's not true, it is possible for change.